Fair use may seem risky or like some obscure legal concept, but it is in fact a vital First Amendment right. And I bet I can sum it up in just seven words. Use fairly, not too much, have reasons. Using fairly in copyright means adding to the culture without intruding on the owner's normal commercial use of the work. A good sign you're being fair is if you're using something for a new purpose, different from the original owner's purpose. Making fun or commenting on the original work is a great example of a new purpose. Another good sign is if your use is normal in your practice community. Best practices are a great guide to what's seen as fair by groups like visual artists, journalists, and media scholars. The opposite of being fair is free writing, making and sharing copies in a way that adds little or nothing and interferes with the owner's market. Not too much means that if you have a good reason, you use an amount that's appropriate for that reason. Don't be greedy. On the other hand, don't shortchange yourself either. Some established fair uses, like creating a search engine or reporting on a newsworthy image, may require using the entire work. There are no magic numbers that tell you how much is too much. You'll have to use your common sense. Having reasons helps you think clearly about why your use is fair. If you can explain to yourself why what you're doing is new, non-intrusive, and proportional, you can explain to gatekeepers who may need to give you the go-ahead to use fair use in a book or a website, for example. There are other approaches to fair use, counting words, checklists, and no shortage of urban myths and legends. Some tools are more useful than others, and some are downright harmful, but all of them can distract you from the big picture, and that big picture helps you make sense of fair use. Use fairly, not too much, have reasons.